when the wolf was a god. There was a time before the coming of man when the wolf was a god, and a powerful god at that. With his speed and cunning he was god of the hunt, with his mate, who he kept for life, and the cubs together they were gods of a family. But most of all, with his songs he was the god of night, a protecting spirit against the black, the unknown. He was a god, was very much a part of the old ways. But then came the man and his new ways. He worshipped a, a new god, a god who lived in the clouds, a god that had no shape, yet could be seen in everything, but the god himself could not be seen. Some of our people switched to this new god, and others switched only to save their lives. The man's nation grew, our land was taken. They filled with farmed, and the great trees cut to support the new nation. In this nation, there was no room for the wolf. His home was destroyed, his family hunted, for they had made warm coats, and he was removed from his place as a deity, only to be placed in a zoo. When man saw the wolf, the great god caged, they laughed and laughed, not only at the god they caged, but also at themselves for being foolish as to believe that an animal could be a god to man. The only god for man had to be greater than man. So they believed. Over many years, people began to doubt the god in the sky. How did the great he create man, the river, and the sky? Was there really a god? For no one saw him. Man was so great, he placed a man on the moon. He tamed the animals, invented machines that could work and save lives. Who needed a god? Many people did, but not the same god. There were gods of rocks, gods of screens, as well as the green god, the almighty dollar. It seemed that everything had a god and the supporters that would fight for the cause. Then the god of the sky fell from the grace, only to be replaced by two gods. These two gods were greater than the god of the old sky. Together they fought, divided the world between them. The eastern part went to the great bear, while the western half belonged to the proud eagle. Both gods wanted to be the only god. They always fought with each other, coasting them with only the, the living of, of their followers. A small price to pay for total power, and from his cage, the wolf watched. The fight, began, fight between the two gods grew more violent, with more people dying. People prayed to the two to stop, for they were afraid. The gods, both of them, turned on, one on the ones who were afraid of them and struck them down. They, their only crime, being of weak faith. Then the people began to turn to the wolf for protection. We were, we were foolish, foolish, they cried. Please, Please protect, protect us. us! The bear, the bear and the eagle, eagle have, 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 have... They are... They are, they are, they are mad. mad! Show as... As a show of faith, they set the wolf free. The wolf, not stopping at their cries, ran straight for the woods, and he was gone. The people sat numb. Who would save them now? As night fell, the people could hear the wolf sing, and ran to the sound. They found the wolf sitting on a rim of a large canyon, 
Come all of those who wish to be saved, for come daylight, my brothers, the eagle and bear will fight their last battle. Who will protect you then? The wolf cried. Come into the canyon and I will bury you like a prized bone, and then the fight, and then, and when the fighting is done, I will dig you out. Why do you run when we set you free? Will you run again and leave us forever? cried some of the people. I ran to dig the canyon to save you all. If you do not trust my word, so be it. You do not have to come with to me. Many did not trust the wolf. They feared. He was angry at them for mocking him, and so he would not protect them. Those people went home, yet many stayed. The wolf buried them deep into the earth. For their protection, he felt their fear and sang to them so they would sleep. In the morning, the wolf sat protecting his followers when Eagle came to visit. Brother wolf, wolf, please join me, for I have a plan that will destroy the bear. I will cause the land he walks to, on to burn. The bear can't fly like I, and he will burn. Brother Eagle, your plan sounds like it will need no help from me. Just one thing, please lay some land for me to stand on. But of course, replied the eagle. Then good luck, brother. May you get what is rightfully yours. The eagle flew away. No sooner, no sooner. Then he was a speck in the sky. The bear came to visit his brother. Brother, he growled, please join me in getting rid of the eagle, for he has become a pest. The eagle can fly, and we are both bound to the ground. How can we beat him? Asked the wolf. I have found a way to cause the sky, the stars to flame and fall on the earth. As they will fall, the eagle will not be able to fly. You have a great idea. Just one saying, please do not let any of the stars fall on me. Don't worry, brother. Nothing will happen to you. Then good luck, brother. May you get what you rightfully get what is rightfully yours. The wolf cried, called out as the bear lumbered away. Hours passed, yet the wolf sat at his canyon. There he saw the dark smoke of death rise from the horizon. The sky began to fall in small flaming bits. His ears were filled with cries of the followers that refused his aid. His nose filled with the odors of burning flesh. But the land around the canyon did not change. Finally, he heard the cries of the eagle and the low growl of the bear. And then, silence. Nothing, not an animal or a man stirred. The world was still. Slowly, the bear started to sing a song for the death of his brothers. And then, he started a new one, a song which promised the sun and the moon that he would not let this happen again. He sang the song over and over again as he dug out his followers, and together they built a new world. The wolf was God again, and he and his family shall rule forever.